Okay, this is seriously one of the best choices if you are looking forward to a custom room. We are talking about LMO Droid, which is Libre Mobile OS, an alternative to Lineage OS. And let me tell you one thing that this is supported for all of the devices which supports Lineage OS. In case you don't know, I mean, a lot of users actually know about that. But in case you don't know, Lineage OS is one of the most interesting or one of the most famous custom rooms right now, and also one of the most stable. A lot of users love about the love about a lot of things love about that custom room. So, LMO Droid is basically based on Lineage OS, and it's supported for all of the devices which supports Lineage OS. So, same like Lineage OS, we have almost one week update, etc., etc. Same things are there, but it's actually an upgrade to Lineage OS. Which other things available in this case and are not available in Lineage OS? We will talk about all of those things in this video. Stay tuned. Firstly, we have the new settings UI. In Lineage OS, we have very simple, minimal kind of settings UI, which does not give you any kind of vibes. But in this custom room, because it's it's upgraded version of Lineage OS, so we have card style UI available, which looks good. It looks minimal. It looks good. One more thing is in the display section, you will find desktop mode. I know a lot of users got this option in some other custom rooms, but all those custom rooms got this option from this Libre Mobile OS. As you can see desktop mode on pc to be very honest with you i have not tried it this tried this feature yet on my device but i will definitely look into it but this option is present and it's originally available in libre mobile os so in case you are wondering and you want to try it out you can one more thing is in the security section unlike in lineage os where you don't have the app locker but that's only available in the default launcher but in this case it's available enhanced pin privacy scramble layout quick unlock and the quick settings option is available there which is i think so available in lineage os too but it's available in Libre Mobile OS. So almost every feature is available, which is available in Lineage OS. It's already available in LMO Droid, but some extra options are also included. We have in more security settings, you will find restrict USB and app locker. App locker is not available in Lineage OS by default. It's available there in the launcher. The default launcher is Trebuchet launcher in Libre Mobile OS. So sorry, in Lineage OS. So in that case, you have the app locker included. But in this case, it's already available in the settings. So in case you want to change this default launcher, we'll get into the launcher very soon, by the way. You can simply change the launcher and try out this app locker. App locker still work for you. Although you can't hide those apps without enabling the protection, at least while making this video. Restrict USB is also one of the most important things that's present here. Face unlock and fingerprint unlock both are present. Lineage OS only provides you fingerprint unlock as far as I know. I'm not exactly sure, but I never found face unlock in Lineage OS in my any other device because I tried Lineage OS in almost every device that I have used so far. In system settings and gestures, you will find swipe to screenshot. One of the most irritating things you can say are basically quite quite interesting that lineage OS does not bring you swipe to screenshot that's quite disappointing but libre mobile os which is an upgraded version of lineage os provides you navigation bar etc does not have the hide ime space option which was kind of expected buttons same kind of options available there but we have some power menu customizations lineage OS, of course does not provides you Power menu, for example, I've enabled the Android 11 style. As you can see, this is how the Android 11 style power menu is looking like. You don't need any kind of reboot to apply these power menu styles. Simply move into these options, power menu style. We have approximately five styles available, including the default one. If you choose legacy A7, this is how the power menu is looking like, which was available in Android 7. If you choose this grid style, which is actually one of my favorite, you get all the power menu options at bottom and also with this blur, looks good. Moving on to another one, we have the Android 8 style, which will give you the sidebar, I guess. Yes, this is sidebar power menu. If you move on to Android 11 style, I've already chosen that. Android 12 style is a default one, which is available in Android 12, 13, 14, everywhere. Let's see what they will bring in Android 15. This is about the power menu. Other options are kind of same here, like control playback and etc, etc. Including these buttons option in status bar, you will find same kind of options available in Lineage OS, but some of the extra things, for example, the data usage, which you can enable in the quick settings. The quick setting background transparency is also what you can adjust and Voltivo Wi-Fi icons, which you can enable in case you want to enable them. It's available in the status bar icon section. So there are many things and it's a very good upgrade over Lineage OS. 
as you can see we have the display mode network traffic indicator etc it also supports ota same like lineages so this is also one of the good things and yes it's actually a great replacement of lineage os one more thing is the browser by default like in lineage os we have that browser named as jelly bean i am not exactly sure but that browser is quite outdated i am not exactly sure if any of you use that but in this case we have full uris browser i'm not exactly sure if i pronounced it right or not but it brings you a lot of features all these things are so good this is actually an open source app and this browser brings you a lot of features a lot of useful things some privacy related things etc so yes this could be a good choice in case you don't want to use the google apps then you can use this thing one more thing is the launcher because we were talking about the launcher at the start the launcher is not rebojet launcher it's based on launcher 3 kind of it's there it's same kind of options available but few of the extra things are available and some of the things are missing google search bar has does not have the themed icons feature we one thing which is available in this recent panel is a compact action design i'm not exactly sure how this ui is looking like because it's looking like same not exactly sure but in miscellaneous options you will find developer options which looks good in case you want to apply any one of these features that's good developer options are not available in most of the custom rooms these these custom launchers but it's available there the quick settings panel as expectedly in light mode with a blur which you can adjust from the settings and an open source app store named as fdroid is also present here so could be a very interesting choice in case you want to try out lmo droid or libre mobile os on your device and your device supports lineage os by default try it out link is already available in the description if you want to know more about these custom rooms make sure to subscribe this channel make sure to like this video thanks for watching and goodbye